Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Today I want to share with you guys one of the most recently completed projects here in the urban backyard food forest, and that's the completion of this black soldier fly larva bin. I built the bin using all recycled materials from items that were either free sourced locally or left over from previous projects. Because I didn't have the exact dimensions of wood that I needed, I went ahead and made some custom cuts. After doing some research and viewing several types of bins, I decided to go ahead and purchase the do-it-yourself plans and the larva from NorthwestRedWorms.com. From start to finish, it was a smooth, rapid transaction with clear-cut instructions and I'd recommend anyone else to do business with them. I'd also recommend that you check out their channel for further instruction and check out what else they got going on. I've also built a redworm bin out of cinder blocks using a design concept that they've put out there. So thanks again to Northwest Redworms for all you're doing and coming from a guy with limited woodworking experience and very basic tools, I just want to say this project was easy to complete, it took me less than a day with me taking my time and I just want to encourage anyone else who's thinking about it to give it a shot. So now that the bin's built, all that's left to do is to add some compost and some kitchen scraps and then introduce the larvae to their new home. So I'll just quickly give you guys a walk around and show you how it's going to work. Uh, I bought these bins here at the dollar store and uh, these side panels just lift up and that's where you're going to collect your larvae as they self harvest themselves going up the ramp and falling through the hole. I, uh, Started layering with what I had on hand, which is some wood chips and wood shavings to keep them from burrowing themselves through the drainage holes there in the bottom. I then started layering up their food supply. I got some kitchen scraps here. I got some chicken manure. Also some worm castings with some worms in them from my other bin. I then just gave it a nice soak, get everything nice and moist. And I also wanted to just make sure everything was draining uh, appropriately underneath. And yep, everything looked good. So just headed back into the kitchen, got a few more scraps, got some bread, banana peels, a little rice, and uh, just trying to make a nice soft landing for these guys. So this is what it looks like, and uh, I think they're going to love their new home. Well, here's the order I received, and it took just a couple business days to arrive. I was very happy with that, and you can tell these larvae are very much alive and ready to go to work. So here you guys go, welcome home. So the last step here is to add the spacer underneath the lid so the flies can come in and out and lay their eggs. And that's it guys. So thanks a lot for watching today's video. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. If you have a question or comment, shoot that down below and we'll keep the conversation going. 